Yeah. Actually, I think he goes. Yeah, I think he goes on a. Uh, if I remember this An game, all in. He goes on <laughs> a suicide rush. probe attack. Yeah. Which is kind of his only option with more and more zealot streaming and. Yeah. Now, do you think if he had gone, since he did have the cyber core, if he had and he did have a good amount of gas, mm -hmm. if he had gone stalkers, would that have helped to even it out in the ability to kite? each of those zealots no i really think that what he needed to do there was um he had a he had a, just a couple options i think that if he had enough zealots like there comes this point where you have enough zealots to block your ramp um and that if he had enough zealots to block his ramp then it starts to if i have two rows of zealots behind that and he only has one it matters less because you're blocking your ramp and okay. you have enough time to sort of reinforce okay so really, in order to defend this entire attack, all I all I need at my base is just one extra zealot and plus the probe that I already have. But um, but yeah, I think that I think that another thing that you, that it really does become important to just match gateways. Like like he really the best thing he could have done would be to just add a third gateway. Yeah. And I see it. You know, the games of mine that do go to late game involve the Protoss player matching my gateway count. Okay. And then you'll have these battles that um sort of go back and forth in the middle of the map of your zealots attacking each other. If I attack into a group of zealots, like if I have like, let's say, it, when I have like two or three zealots, it's sort of expendable. Okay. Um, you can recover from losing that. But when I once I get, to, once it builds up, it's almost like an arms race, once it builds up to like eight zealots, and he has eight zealots, if those two armies meet and he wins, okay, then he can just roll over my, at my base yeah. and a counterattack. So once you get up to like seven or eight zealots, it, gets to this balance where like you can only engage him for a second and you have to decide whether you can win that fight or not okay and then you have to pull back um if you don't think you can and so you feel each other out a little bit with zealots early it's 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 almost it's very much like zerg for zerg in starcraft one yeah and finally you'll get to a point where one of you will be able to defend long enough that they can tech um and then usually what the other one has to do at that point is either expand or try to match the tech somehow yeah um, and both options are pretty good. My my direct question, I'm not sure. I feel like it wasn't answered before, I'm sorry. though. I'm is, sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry, is 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 there any way that the cyber core could have been leveraged for him, in the sense of he can uh, again, if if he didn't build zealots as a response, if he built stalkers as a response, yeah, and just tried to do the whole kiting game. Actually, there is. Actually, we can even look at a game of that. Actually, uh, real quick, we can do the first two minutes of it. Let's do that. Okay. Quick. All right. All right, so this is the third. So game this is we the third, third about. and final game on the same map that we just watched. Oh um, man, it's against Dwight Schrutt. Yeah, you like that name? Yeah. See, not all <laughs> Protosses are fags. No, but the fags are retards because Negative Sons is your gay name, and Dwight Schrutt is this guy's real name. Yeah. If it's not his real name, then it's cool, but it's probably his <laughs> real name. <laughs> all right, so. Guess a, and Guns of Kimbo, Guns of Kimbo is the coolest idea. It ever. is the coolest idea ever. Okay, it's yeah. from. I don't want to give away the uh, the history. My my name's from something too. Yeah, from StarCraft. Yeah. Whoa, kind of... whoa, whoa, whoa! What the? F yeah, that was me mess. Uh, this is my first game of the day. I think I messed up really bad. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, I fucked up. Can we talk about wh how good that is? <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Exercise your probes. They get bored. <laughs> it's like you know when you stretch when you, offices have stretching parties yeah. every hour to get into the ma the mood the mood i have this i have this problem with my mouse where sometimes when i single click on a probe it actually double clicks i was telling you about that yeah, one day complained about it forever yeah and so um what happens is like so a lot of times i'll click one probe to pull them off to build a pylon and it'll double click all my probes mm -hmm. but uh but yeah i whenever i do that i feel like oh god i lost now yeah Maybe you really didn't. Really, no, really, you didn't. No, you lost a few seconds of mining time. That's it. Okay, so your uh, scouty bounty is in here, and you see. I'm just trying to get his gateway, his gateway timing. Yeah. Um, so gateway timing for him was that was 14, I think. Gateway yeah, at 14. He out. had a 14 gate. And you. My had, gate's almost done. Mine, mine was gate at 12. 12. Can is is there any point there? Um. I don't know why he has so many more workers in me right now, but uh, oh, maybe you know it's my, <laughs> it could be because you fucked up. Yeah, it's probably because right. I fucked that up. But um, but I don't know why he would go fourteen gate. That's kind of strange. All right, but that's way. fine. Whatever. Cool. A lot of chronoblues. I mean, used. really, really, twelve gate is cutting probes. You can you cut probes a tiny bit if you have really good timing with twelve gate. A lot of players, so a lot of players will get um, a thirteen or fourteen gate to, so they can keep up constant chrono boosts. And um, and not have to cut probes at all. Okay. But 
I feel like it's risky to exactly the kind of strategy that I'm using, which is um, a strong attack like this. Okay. Because you're getting your gate a little bit later. Yeah. Okay, so right now he sees... And it's really vulnerable to like a 10 gate attack. No, I wonder if he saw that. I don't think he saw that zealot go out. I don't think he saw the zealot, but he does see the two gateways. So he sees two gates, and... He's getting his core. He's getting core. So this was a situation of you You were asking me, well, is there anything that they can do to leverage that core to help them? Mm -hmm. And this is, a, this is a game actually where the, where the opponent um, does leverage that core to attack that gets him. But it's not, it's, it's not to get stalkers, actually. But the most important thing to do if you're in this kind of situation is almost... If you decide to go gate first, uh, core before second gateway, I would almost blindly get, sent, get a sentry first. Yeah. Because it can't hurt. At that point, right? Well, because a stalker will still lose to zealots. Yeah. Why? Because I thought that was the reverse. No, uh, the stalker will lose to zealots because. Um. Is there like a, a secret tip, strategy? <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to talk about it without showing because there's. Let's so talk many about it. I'm like, I'm not going on the game four. So give me your secret tip real quick. We'll reenact. I'll reenact it with the mouse. Negative <laughs> Suns has a secret cheat for no, Starcraft we'll, Two. We'll do that different for a different show. You're a dickhead. <laughs> Fucking hate you. You're a little prima donna. <laughs> wow. uh, if anyone wants to do StarCraft Amateur Hour with me, <laughs> give me an email, okay? I'm looking yeah. for someone else to do it with me now. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry. I can't make all. I can't force my opponents to do everything I want to talk about in one game uh -huh. against Kimbo. So, anyways, make your stupid points then. I'm Fine. making this point for you. Yep. You're the one that asked the question. Yeah, I asked the question you won't answer it because you're an asshole. No. So here this is this is really good positioning by him. Is I can actually I could probably kill that zealot. But you can't um, kill the second one. I can't kill the second one. Not with the sentry there. Yeah. And he's gonna be able to force field well now. So he's just waiting right now. Oh he has enough for a force field. Yeah, you start oh, with enough for a force field. Okay. So that's the best way I feel like to leverage um core in order to Fend off this attack. Okay, so at this point now, the whole gateway count, does that even matter anymore? Since he can keep, he can get another sentry out, he can keep force fielding this ramp. Now this whole gateway, now does the gateway stop mattering and then it goes right to tech? Um, no, it still matters uh, a lot actually. Um, I, I actually messed this up because I get, I, I, you know, I don't know if you want to watch the rest of the game or not. If you but messed up, I want to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. And, um, but normally if you don't mess up and you can keep all your units alive, then, uh, then it still matters because you still have such higher production. Okay. And you can, you can actually see. I can catch up with him in tech or expand. I think the best choice in a situation like this is that I just expand. Okay. Because what's that building he's getting? Is it another gateway or is that a um? That's another robot? gateway. See, I still, I'm still haven't gotten my my cybernetics core. So if I if I get a core and then expand, I feel like that's a really strong move for me in a situation where where my attack gets defended, and that's usually what I will do. Okay. Cool. Well, we don't have to watch the rest, but you know what I want to do? We want to find a quick example of your secret strategy <laughs> and just show it real quick. All right, sure. All right, and then... And then we can be done. Finally. Thank God. <laughs> okay, cool. You know what? I'm just going to load up right here. Why are you doing this to me? We're not going behind the scenes anymore. We're going to... We have full... What did they call that in government when you full see... Full transparency? Through? Transparency. Thank I you. I don't like that. I feel so, like this is... I feel this is like looking... looking under a grandma's dress. Why? Well, because you don't want them to see that I name things like Ray OCD. <laughs> Who's Ray? Yeah, I don't know. He's some OCD guy I know that's always nervous around me. Yeah. Because he knows I'm cool. Yeah. So, what game would that be? That's, um... Give me a game. You know these games so well because you watch them. That's this one. This game? Okay, cool. I'm just going to fast forward a bit through it. I know we're getting a little bit discursive, but I feel like we've made a couple of early game points. I know there's nothing late game to go right now. We'll do that in another episode. Yeah. I just want to see uh just want to see exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So th this is another one of the same thing where, you know, 9 pylon 12 gate and then you scout and your scout tells you how many what to do next basically like it should. He tells, he like he talks he tells to you. you. He does talk to you. like a little tip that so comes here, up in game. So here I scout gate core. Okay. And it's gate core gate. And so I add two gateways also. So then you have three gateways total. So I'm no I no, I have two gateways in this situation. But my zealots are attacking. See, because he got core, 
I'm, my gateway came at the same time as he put down his core. Okay. So there's no way that his second gateway can be finished by the time my attack lands. So okay. this is, you have to realize how early, early this attack is actually coming. It's coming at like the four minute mark. Okay. And I would do this to you too. You Zerg, if you were, Zerglings weren't faster than my Zealots and couldn't kill me okay. while I was attacking you. Um, okay, so you have three Zealots coming in at two Stalkers. Yeah. Three, three Stalkers, stalkers actually. Alright, so now this should just rape you. No. Why? Because, um... So, Stalkers have, a, have a, like, a really long attack animation, and they are faster than Zealots. So they, they actually, they can kite Zealots, but your Stalker needs to get, because of the long attack animation, your Stalker needs to get way ahead of the Zealot before it turns around and shoots. Okay. In order to kite fully. Okay. Because if your Zealot catches up and hits the Stalker, um, you're still doing damage to them. And it's either that Zealots can kill Stalkers, or it's really, really close, one Zealot to one Stalker, if they're just standing still. Okay. So, really... What hap in this situation, what you should do is just have one or more than one zealot go to each stalker. Like, auto-follow that stalker. Okay, so, like, this zealot would go to that stalker, this zealot would go to that stalker, this zealot would go to that stalker. Yeah. Okay, so that forces him to have to do three whole position micros for three different battles, which is pretty much impossible well, for anyone. Well, I mean, anyone. the thing is, he could also, if, if, his zealot, if his stalkers were in better position, he could run them all at the same time. But a lot of times, what it does is because... Because that because that attack animation is so slow, okay, and you're in your base where there's not a lot like really like the, like really from running from one open end of his base up to the top of his base, okay, really you can only get off maybe maybe two or three attacks with the stalker, which isn't okay. enough to kill the zealot before you get stuck in the corner, okay. But so, isn't that still but okay? So, so my point is that my point is that normally what you would do is you is players will send all of their zealots to attack one stalker. Right? Yeah. And so that allows the stalker that's not getting attacked to just stand still and shoot at your zealots. Okay. Which is how the stalkers beat the zealots usually. But what if he just does like that, where he clumps together, so all your zealots are clumping together, and then just does whole position on one at a time? That's, that's fine, because watch what happens. When he has to turn a corner like this, Okay. or or um, any sort of maneuvering by him at all allows the zealots to catch up, because okay. their speed isn't that much greater. So if he runs across the entire map, he could kite me across the whole map. And eventually she kill me. Yeah, but in it just his, takes longer. What you're saying, it, it holds them up a lot more, and it does. Well, no, damage. he doesn't have the room to do that in his base. Yeah. Okay. Um, like you need to outnumber the zealots by a lot to do that in the confines of the base. There's not enough room to do that in the base. Okay. So, like, really, ideally, with micro, these two stalkers could kill this whole group of zealots. Okay. And you see that he's running around and doing that well, but you'll see if you watch closely, the zealots following the stalkers. Yeah. Um, and, but you bring right now as a, you have uh, these zealots going at these stalkers, but you bring one zealot into the mineral line. So pretty much you're trying to just drive him nuts with multitasking. 